Hey, welcome. Today, the, I'm going to show you how to use your magic margins on your typewriter. My name is Laura. I'm the owner of Jot and Tilla Typewriter. So glad you're joining me. I've chosen to use a Royal Custom 3 to show you how to use a magic margin. You don't have to have this exact typewriter um, to know how to use it. So uh, you may have got something that has one and you're like, what do I do with it? Hopefully this will help you and it'll be a quick video. Okay, first thing is you've got your left and your right margins. We also have our columns here. Column clear, column set. Column is just another term for tab. So first of all, let's set our margins. So we're going to go all the way to the left. And this is where the margin is right now. So let's bring it in and say, oh, we want to come in just a little bit further. And so the first thing we're going to do is to move your carriage, you need to know how to release the carriage. And behind your roller handle, there should be a carriage release, like a little metal or plastic tab. You pull that in and that releases your carriage. So the key is when you press down on the magic margin, you release your carriage at the same time. That clears the margin. See, we just went past it. But don't release that margin until you get to where you want it. So let's say, let's set it right here, release it. Now we have a new margin. Okay, so let's say we want to put the margin here. Um, and that's the other thing you can do. You can move it, the carriage to where you want it, and then just hit magic margin. That'll set it. So now the new margin is there. But in order to clear it, you got to put hold it down, hold it, release the carriage. Oops. And then reset. So let's set it here. Now we release it. Okay. Sorry, I moved that. Now let's go ahead. And so now you can see it's over here. Let's go over to the right side. Our margin is right there, which happens to be the max on this typewriter. So we're going to bring it in. So first thing you can do, if you want to bring it in closer, you can do what we did on the left side. Just put it where you want and hit magic margin. Boom. Now your margin is set to right there. Okay. But if you want to clear that because you want to go out further, you got to push down the magic margin and at the same time, release the carriage. And unfortunately, sometimes they lock up on you. So let's, here we go. Let's see where it sent it. Okay, so it moved, it did move it. This right, the right margin for some reason can't, and I've found this on multiple typewriters, can be a little tricky. So you bring it in. Let's say we'll put it here. So now my margin is here. Okay, we want to release that. I hold it down, hold the carriage in. There we go. Okay, so that is how you do the magic margin. And you may need to fiddle with it a little bit. Now let's do the same thing with the column. So I'm going to just see if I have any columns set by hitting the tab. So I have a column right here. Let's clear this out. And I like to hold it while I do this just to make sure. I do it a couple times. I'm going to hit the column again so the column is clear. Now we can go through and say, okay, I want to put a column right here. And maybe right here. So let's go back to the beginning and then see it should set it. There you go. Now I want to clear those two. So I'm going to go back, hit column and hit clear. And I like to move the carriage. And it should just go to the second column. Let's see what it does. Actually, it cleared all the columns. So it cleared all the columns. So now I can just go and set them again. Here, here, column, column, and then clear, hit clear, move my carriage back and forth. That should clear them. Let's find out. Clear. All right, I hope you found this helpful.